Chris, how you doing, boss? Hey, man, I'm doing good. Good to connect with you, man. Thank you so much yeah. for reaching out. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, for sure, man. What do you got going on? Um, dude, so I've been mess. I've been in the free trial now for I guess maybe like three days now, oh, and no, um, no. yeah, so I've just been trying to um, mess with Kartra a little bit. I've kind of got a landing page going. Um, it's kind of been hard because there's there's not too much training, man. To be honest with you, dude, I was just kind of following a video that you had put together with another real estate agent. Yeah. Um, Eli Bader, I believe was his name. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I was just kind of following that, man. But I'm really just trying to get this, um, you know, this thing up and running. Uh, it was kind of between Kartra and ClickFunnels. Yeah. But I haven't even, I've messed around with ClickFunnels once. And I've pretty much just spending the majority of my time in Kartra. Yeah, for sure, man. I um, I actually, and I have a video up on on YouTube back in back in July. It was July of 2018. I think it was July 1st of um of 2018. I'm simply just doing a random video. You know, I'm leaving ClickFunnels and I'm setting up my 14 day trial. My whole YouTube is kind of based on just documenting what I'm doing. You know, little clips here and there of me putting together a landing page or, you know, me putting together an email autoresponder or whatever. But in at on that day, I'm setting up my 14 day trial, and and the whole re the biggest difference, the whole reason why I left ClickFunnels, was because ClickFunnels amazing. In fact, uh, Russell Brunson is is pretty much my number one mentor. Like when it comes to all this stuff, but when it comes to building something online, there's just multiple services that you need, um, and just basic, just just basic, like landing page number one email autoresponder number two and then and then a calendar if you're if you're going for appointments if you're a real estate agent if you're a coach if you're a consultant you're looking to capture leads and get people to schedule calls with you that's your calendar so when it comes to click funnels it's just the landing page so for the same price of 97 dollars a month i get just the landing pages then i have to go pay more for an email autoresponder or I can use MailChimp, but even, even at the free one, you eventually have to pay monthly once your, once your leads get to, I think it's like 2000 leads. Um, but even if it's free, it's still a second software. And then I have to go get a third software, which is like Calendly, which is another free one in the beginning it's to schedule appointments. But um, that's a third software. So it's just for me, man, I like stuff basic. And so when I came across Kartra, it was all in one for the same price. And I'm like, damn, that's, that, that's a no brainer. And so I've yeah. been on it ever since, man. I've been on it ever since. Um, I recommend it to everyone I'm, I'm talking to as far as trying to build something online. Um, I just got, and in fact, I, uh, yeah, about a couple weeks ago, actually about a month ago, I have a, I have a YouTube video that I put up about a month ago. I, I just got done going through a training course from one of my mentors on teaching how to actually build a training course. Um, and I was going through his course, learning what his, and this is, this is an eight figure, you know, earner. He, he makes, you know, he makes a, a ton online selling courses. So I went through his course on how he did it and all the softwares that he, he uses five different softwares to do. And all those five are all in Kartra. So it's like, damn, dude, it's like, I'm, I'm telling you, you're, you're in the right place for sure. Um, as far as training, I don't know. Did you, did you come across it with me? Did you, were you able to click on my link or you already had it set up prior? Uh, yeah, I had it set up prior. Okay. So what I always do is I always extend my time, you know, for anyone that, that, you know, obviously clicks on my link, I'll always give them my time for free. Um, but then number two, I have a ton of funnels that I import. Like, like in your case with real estate, I have five funnels that are already done for you. Like all I got to do is import them to your account and you have them. But also there's trainings. Have you registered for our, for our Tuesday and Thursday training calls? No, I haven't. Okay. That, yeah, for sure, bro. You got to do that for sure. For sure. Um, let me send you the link for that because that's where I learned everything, dude. I, um, in the very, very beginning, I had, I had a, I had a guy that, that helped me in the very, very beginning. In fact, I paid him. I even paid him. And this is a guy out of Costa Rica. So he wasn't charging a lot at all. Um, back then, I think it, this was in 2018. I think it was like 15 bucks an hour. I think now it's like at 25 bucks an hour. But even that, that's not much. But I paid him for a couple hours in the very, I think like in the first week in 2018 that I set this stuff up. 
And then after that, I, I learned it. And then I started jumping on these, these weekly Q and A's. And to this day, I'm on these weekly calls, but just plugging into this call, it's a, it's a Q and A, it's a live webinar. So Kartra support, they just come, you know, with nothing prepared, they just come to answer questions. So if you have a random question, you can always jump on these calls and, and they'll answer it right there in screen share, walk you through it. Um, and that's an hour call that they do every Tuesday and Thursday. But that's where I learned a ton. I didn't follow anyone on YouTube. Um, even though we have a Facebook group, I don't even plug in. In fact, I'm not even, I'm not even a part of it. For me, I just, I don't, I don't really care for Facebook groups. Um, but over here, you can for sure ask any question and you'll get 50,000 people to reply, you know, so there's a ton of support in this, in this group. Um, but the, the Q and a is what you want to set up is what you want to register for, for sure. So let me just okay. send you the link for that. Um, copy. Okay. Let me go to this one. Okay. So register for that. And even if you can't make it live, um, they send you the replay. So what I would for sure, for sure do, man, number one, I'm here to tell you, I've been doing this for a very, very long time. Prior to Kartra, I've been online and really cracking the code with internet marketing for literally the past 20 years, 21 years since 1999. So when it comes to just software, no matter what business you're building, you're in real estate, but even if you were a local plumber, it's the same strategy, running an ad, capturing a lead, email automation, calendar, booking appointments. Like that's it. That's, that's really the basics of it. And so I'm just here to tell you, you're in the right place. You're in the right place for sure. Um, yeah, um, with this software alone, because it's not going to, it's not going to break the bank and, and it's absolutely necessary for what you're trying to do, especially. And, and I'm just assuming you're, you're, you're building a real estate business, right? Is that all you're doing or you got other stuff going on or. Yeah, just real estate, man. Um, cool, been doing man. it for like two and a half years and it's awesome. finally starting to like develop. So I want to be able to reinvest my money into yeah. something. And yeah, man, I mean, like I said, this is kind of where I think I need to be. So yeah, for sure. For sure, man. Let me, um, what I can do is I can, unless you have like just, you know, specific questions, I can just maybe spend a couple minutes and give you some tips on, on what you want to do for your real estate business when it comes to just social media alone. Kartra is, is one thing for sure, but the other is, is your social media platforms, which I've spoken to thousands of real estate agents. Um, I come from mortgages, so I was a lender for six years, but um, I've spoken to thousands of real estate agents just, from, just since 2016 alone. I've literally spoken to thousands on this exact topic, and 99% missed the basics. Landing pages is one thing, but 99% of, of agents on social media miss the basics when it comes to social media. Gotcha. So yeah, if, if, if you want me to kind of share those tips with you, I can, I can spend, you know, five minutes and give you that because I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet your pages are not optimized on where they, they should be or where they could, where they could be. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I I'm with you on that. I don't think so either. <laughs> yeah. Let me, um, are you, yeah. Are you on Facebook? I am. Yeah. Okay. Do you want, yeah. So it's, it'd be like Chris Garcia, realtor, Chris Garcia, realtor. Let's see. Um, and you have, I would, I would think you have a personal page as well, right? And a yep. business page. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. I'm going to look at both pages real quick. So is it this one right here? No. Uh, let's see. Go down. Garcia. I am with Remax. Oh, yeah. That's me okay. right there. Yep. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then give me your, your um, personal page. My personal page is just Chris Garcia. I don't know what the backslash is, but hang on a second. Let me see if I can just find you. Yeah, Chris Garcia, Dallas. Um, let me see. Do you have the same profile picture? Uh, yeah, it's just me and my wife in it. Okay, cool. Um, Chris Garcia. Um, Let's see, what's your last name? Uh, Cantero, C-A-N-T-E-R-O. Yeah, let me see if I can just shoot you um, okay, a cool. request, and then you can just Perfect. yeah, I just sent you a request. So okay, awesome. That way you you can find me. Cool, man. Okay, so here okay, so here's the deal. Before I even accept it, before I even accept it, I'm gonna point some things out. So sure. so there's some things that that people see before they're your, there's some people there's some things that people see when they're not your friend, and then there's things that people see when they are your friend. Right. And and it all starts with this intro. 
So here's kind of what I've been, and let me just go back to, and I don't know if you caught this on any of my YouTube videos, but I, I, I definitely talk about this in my YouTube videos, but here's, here's my whole deal. And I'm not going to give you a whole crazy, you know, story on all this stuff, but it, it's just, it is what it is. And it's just, I'm going to give you just some basic context of why I'm going to advise you to do what I'm going to advise you to do okay. and, and why it's, it's so important for your branding and so important for, for lead capture and just overall social media marketing because here's the deal in in and i as i mentioned i started doing this back in 99 just internet marketing but in 2010 that's when i jumped into mortgages so i started doing mortgages here in san diego and just crushed it from 2010 to 2016 and so that's kind of where i met a lot of real estate agents i was doing their mortgages right out i had agents come to us we were closing their deals we were approving their clients for purchases and 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 just killing it and that was a six year run to this day. My best friend still owns that company here in San Diego. They do very, very well. But in 2016, I was already over it. Like I was sick of it. <laughs> I yeah. hated the process of it, man. I hated underwriting. I hate, I, I just ended up hating it. Yeah. And there's no other word for it. Like that's just me personally. So in 2016, I ended up leaving, but I wanted to stay in the industry somehow, some way. And I knew I wasn't going to really become a realtor, but I wanted to do something. And so with me having marketing experience and a marketing background, I started helping real estate agents with their social media marketing because as a lender meeting all these agents, I knew they weren't leveraging it. Like I knew they weren't leveraging social media and I knew a lot of them were still spending an arm and a leg on offline marketing. Like my, my, my best friend that owns our mortgage company or owns his mortgage company, the one I was working with, he would literally put his face on it because, I mean, he, he has an unlimited budget. The guy does not care. He's a marketer. <laughs> He'll yeah. spend on marketing all damn day. And he would spend foolishly, though. He would spend offline, and he would put his face on every bus bench in San Diego. And, and, and that's cool. I mean, turn a corner, and you see, the damn fa you see his damn right. face again. Like, that, that's somewhat cool, but it's not. It's not there, and, there, yeah, it, it's cool, but there's no ROI. He never saw an ROI on that, like, ever. And he didn't care because he had the money to spend. But at the same right. time, it's like, damn, our options today are obviously online, but it's more narrowed down into social media. And so in 2016, I'm like, man, let me start helping everyone with all this stuff. And so that's what I did. And, and, and so instead of cold calling or instead of even reaching out to my existing network, because I had a ton of realtors, I, I did all their, their mortgages. Instead of reaching back out to them and saying, hey, Chris, I know I closed your client's mortgage last year, but hey, I, can I help you with your marketing now? Like, I didn't want to have that approach like that. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be that guy. So what I did, and, from, and, and this was just marketing, how in the heck am I going to get to you guys? Like, that's what I was thinking in 2016. So what I did is I literally came over here to Facebook. I started kicking everyone off that I actually know. My brother, my cousins, my best friends, my neighbors, people I went to school with, like, real people, right? Like real people that I actually knew. I started kicking all of them off and I put them on Instagram. Like I messaged every single person that I knew, which was only like a couple hundred, like my old classmates. Like it was only a couple hundred people that I actually knew on my friend list here. And right. I said, Hey man, I'm freeing up this list. I'm going to be closing this account. Follow me on IG or follow me on my business page because I needed 5,000 slots open right here. Right. My whole approach was I'm going to simply request Every single real estate agent, I'm going to build a relationship. I'm going to become friends with their friends with them here. And I'm going to maybe see if I can help them that way. And so what happened, man, and there's a reason why I'm telling you all this, because what happened in 2016, I started requesting a few hundred and then 2017, 2018, a few thousand. And now today, you know, I'm at 4984. I always keep it at 5,000, but I'll unfriend a few people that I, you know, that I'm not going to do business with. And then I'll just re up with new agents. And I'll always like, if you come back at the end of today, that will be at 5,000. Like that, yeah. because I always keep it at 5,000. So here's my point. In 2016, I started requesting all you guys. By 2018, I don't know if you're in Facebook groups or in different type of groups on LinkedIn or whatever, but when yeah. you follow thousands of people, you start to see patterns and you start to see habits. You obviously start to see what people are interested in. And that's especially when you follow thousands of people that all have the same interest. But when you follow thousands of people, Chris, that literally all have the same job, 
you really start to see some patterns and habits. So what I started seeing, man, and what really started sticking out was how everyone was promoting their listings, how everyone was marking their open houses. I really started seeing from a 30,000 square foot view or 30,000 square foot view, how everyone was marketing their business. And in 2018, I ended up writing a book about this. I'm like, dang, dude, every realtor is coming on a Facebook or coming on a social media for one thing and one thing only. And that's to find that next lead. Mm -hmm. And let's just keep it real. I mean, you're over here trying to build something on social media to find that next buyer or find that next seller. Obviously, you're going to network, build some friendships, all that. Of course, I get it. But I'm looking for a deal, man. I'm looking for that next buyer. I'm looking for that next seller. That's what every real, that's what every business owner comes on a social media for, right? right? Is looking for that next client. Mm -hmm. But, and, and, and so with me knowing that, I started analyzing and looking at everyone's pages and I'm like, damn, dude. Everyone's looking for a lead and looking for that next deal, but everyone's missing the basics. And, and what I mean by basics is branding, a Kartra landing page, for example, basics, like basics. And right. so, I, again, I wrote a book about this in 2018, and, I, and I, call, I call it the social real estate agent. Five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. So I narrowed it down. I started seeing what everyone's doing. I narrowed it down to five basic steps. And these five steps, man, that I'm going to point out to you right now is what 99.999% of you guys miss. And so that's what I wanted to show you real quick is the landing page. That's what I call step four. There's five steps. The landing page and the, e the landing page is step four. Email automation, which is your Kartra email autoresponder, that's step five. And so what I can cover with you real quick is step one, two, and three. Okay. Here's what you want to implement before you even build a Kartra page. Like before you even, you even try to figure out the email automation. Before you get to step four and five, I just highly recommend, you know, focus on step one and two because all you guys are missing it. And it's, what, it's what's going to allow you to stand out and it's what's going to allow you to start capturing leads. Step one and two. Step one, two, and three. Okay, so, so here's the deal. So when I come across Chris's page, let's go to back to your personal page. Okay. We're not even friends yet. Okay. This mm -hmm. intro is the first impression. So obviously I can look at the picture and be like, damn dude, sharp guy, husband, beautiful wife. And then I can see the image. Okay. Real estate agent, knowledgeable, professional images, say, a, say a million words like images. And even, even posting this congratulations, I could be like, damn, dude, he looks obviously successful pictures say a lot, but because we're building a business, we also have to get some information out. And that information is right here in the intro. So mm -hmm. again, whether I'm friends with you or I'm not just yet, I'm still, I still need to see this intro and you, and that's why what I'm going to advise you to put here is going to be in the settings. You're going to, you're going to put it under public. So no matter if, if, they're, if they're your friend or not, they'll still see it. It's public. Right. And it's public information that's going to go right here in the intro. So again, back to this friend list real quick. I see this by the thousands. The only one out of 4984, look, people just, actually, we are already confirmed you, but let me see if I can, let's see if I got to do it again. Okay, so out of the 4985, and it's a public list, Chris. So you can, you can look at every single one of them. Every mm -hmm. single one of them. Every single one of them, except for one. So let's just put it this way. 4984 are real estate agents. You can look at every single... The only one who's not is my wife. And that's this one right here, Melina. Mm -hmm. So she's the only one, dude, on this entire freaking list who's not an agent. And so as I see thousands, bro... This is what's missing. This is basic and this is step one. So I come across Chris's page and this is what, she, what he's showing me. Realtor at studied, lives, from, married, and then you got your website right here. I come across Kristen's page and this is what she's showing me. So she's showing me a link, not to her broker's page, a link to her business page. That's number one. So you don't want to send any attention to your broker's page. No one gotcha. even knows you have a business page until you click invite. So the 400 people that you got over here, they all came as a result of you clicking invite. And that was the only time anyone ever even knew you had a business page because it's not even listed. And here's right. the thing out of your friends over here, it doesn't even matter how many you have 700, 4,000. It doesn't even matter. 
I'm willing to bet, this is just the real statistics, is that if you're not building a team like an EXP or a Keller Williams and you're not actually recruiting other agents, then you're looking for consumers. You're looking for buyers and sellers. So I'm, I'm assuming that the majority of your friends are normal people, mm -hmm. people who are not in the business. They're not realtors. They're not lenders. They're not title reps. They're not escrow officers. They're average people that, that Chris is connecting with. And the average person who is not in the business does not know that this is not your business page. So if you're sitting at 2,600 friends, 3,200 friends, 99% of them are not in the business and they have no idea this is not your page. So because you're drawing all the attention to this first link, God only knows how many actually clicked like thinking they were supporting Chris when they're actually not. Gotcha. So that link does not need to be there at all. Again, I come across, I come across uh, Kristen's. Let me go back. And so rather than showing me her broker, it's boom, it's hers right away. And then also because branding is everything offline, your branding is everything. You're putting your face, you're putting your, your, your number, you got business cards, like you're looking fresh suit. Branding is everything on social media. This right here, this basic branding is everything. So she has listed Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, her website, and if you look closely, which you don't even have to look close, every single one of them is identical. Mm -hmm. Basic, yeah. bro. Basic branding. This is what I call step one. And so as I, as I concluded to this first step, I'm like, damn, I'm looking at all these pages. No one has any of this. When I ask anybody, a real estate agent, hey, man, do you have Twitter? Yeah, David, my Twitter's you know, Chris underscore Garcia123. And what's your Instagram? Oh, it's Garcia Properties. What's your freaking LinkedIn? Oh, damn, I don't, I don't have that one customized. So you may be on all these platforms, but none of them are matching. Right. Right. Basic bro. Basic. And so just by look, and here's the deal again, it doesn't matter how many friends you got over here. Not only do 99%, not, not only are 99% not in the business, but I'm also willing to bet if you have thousands. Now, if you just have 500, okay, maybe, you know, a good amount of those 500, they're your cousins, your freaking in-laws, you know, real people, you know, if you just have a few hundred, um, okay, I'll give it to you. You'll probably know majority of all of them. But if you have a few thousand, and this applies for every platform, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, 99, and, and I know it's 99, but I'll just say 90. Let's just, I'll, I'll give you 10%, but that's still nine out of, out of 10 people. 90% right. of these people that you're connected with on your personal Facebook page don't know you. Like you and I, we, come, we become friends. I don't know you. Right. And so 90%, bro, and that's, that's if you're taking that, that list up. And, I, and, and the only re reason why you would be taking it up, going from 600 friends to 1,600, the only reason why is because you're building a business. You're thinking that you need everyone and their mother following you because you got something to sell, which is obvious. We're in business. I need everyone to know what the hell I do, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take that number up to 5,000 before we're done, but 90% don't know you. And so that's why coming over here, this is what I'm seeing coming over here. This is what I'm seeing. I'm going to end up thinking that she's a little bit more credible just because she's on these other platforms. Right. And so, and here's another thing, just because Chris and David connected on Facebook and just because him and those other 4,200 friends connected on Facebook, how does he know that I don't spend 57 hours a day on LinkedIn? Right. Right. You don't know that. Right. So that's why it has to be listed. Now, here's the deal, though. You don't have to be a social media butterfly. So I'm not giving you this one, <laughs> this one strategy yeah. and saying, hey, Chris, you got to be Gary Vee and posting 50 million times on all these damn platforms every single day. No, it's not. It's not for that. It's just to simply have them active. Because here's the reality, you as a business owner, all you really need to know is where your audience is at. There's billions of people on these five. So forget about all the other ones that are just random. These, these are the top five, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Those are your top five. So if you can just have them at least active, at least listed, and at least matching, 
because God only knows if I come to, if I come to your Facebook and I'm on Instagram all day, I'm going to see your Instagram right there. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to, I'm going to follow you there. And because I'm more comfortable messaging there, I'm going to message you there and you better hope you get that message, especially if it's about real estate. Yeah. Right. So sure. that's what you want to have set up, man. Facebook or, or excuse me, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And then also that.com we're matching it with everything. So you have, you have this.com right here. Mm-hmm. I'm just advising and recommending that you, you match everything else with that as well. And then just get them all listed. Because again, I'm going to see them right here. This is the first impression. I'm seeing the intro image is the first impression. And I'll just call it the second. The second one is that intro. And then if I want to dig deeper to see who Chris really is, I'm going to click about. And when I click about, see, this is what I'm talking about. It shows right here, but in your settings, the way you have it is you mm-hmm. have it showing to just friends. Gotcha. That's why it's only showing here and it's not shown on the timeline. You want to simply change the settings to public and then it would show in the intro whether that person is your friend or not. Okay. Because as people search around before they even request you, we want to show them what, where we're at. Right. You know? and, so, and, and so back to my point, you have Twitter, you have LinkedIn, you have Instagram, and they're all not matching, different. Yep. right? They're all different. So I just think it, it when, when it looks this way, bro, like it just, it just stands out. It makes it easier to the eye, right? And mm-hmm. it allows your audience to remember you under one name and one name only. So once you list them on the personal page, then you're going to come over here to the business page. And right here in the about section of the business page, this is where they also go. So right where you have your .com, right where it says more info, it sh- I should see Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter. Gotcha. And that, that would go right there under more info. Okay. okay. So, and, and that, those links, man, those links are 10 times more important than having your phone number listed. Where we're at today in social media, ain't no one calling you. They're going <laughs> right. to follow you on social media. They're going to message you on social media before they ever pick up the phone and call you. You and I connected on social media. You and I are now on a Zoom call without me even knowing your, your number. Right. Right. So that's where we're at now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't blast your number anywhere. Keep that for you and your chick. Like that is, that's, <laughs> that's private. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I don't want any random people knowing my number. You're, you're going to end up finding me on social media. You're going to end up messaging me on social media. And if that's a legit lead, then you'll get my number. Right. Right. Like until then you don't need to see that. You need to see my platforms. You need to see my IG. You need to follow me on Twitter. You need to see those before you see that number. So that's step one, man. That's step one. And again, that just comes from me understanding basic branding and looking at thousands of pages that don't have that. Okay. So that, right. that's what I call step one. Here's step two. Okay. When it comes to this business page, this light count is the first impression. So just like you on your personal page, when people start clicking like, when they start sharing, when they start commenting on everything, you get a notification, right? Mm-hmm. Because I have thousands of agents, bro, here are my notifications. Like, let me go to, let me refresh my page all day, every day. I click on my notifications. I have to delete so many of them. Mimi yeah. invited you. Connie invited you. Jennifer invited you. Maria invited you. Adriana when I go to anyone's page, man, this is step two. When I go to anyone's business page, okay, let me click on this, this random page right here. These are all my Facebook friends. That's the only way an invite can be sent pretty much is, is a friend to a friend. Mm-hmm. At this point since 2016, Chris, here's the, here, this, is, this is for the record. This is, this is fact. This is, this is honest to God truth. Since 2016, I've literally helped hundreds of real estate agents on this exact topic, right? I've spoken to thousands. I can't help everyone, right? I've spoken to thousands. I've helped hundreds. But I've looked at tens of thousands of Facebook business pages of real estate agents since 2016 alone. So I'm talking about step two. When I come to anyone's page, man, 99% of real estate agents are around 200 to 300 likes. So when it comes to the consumer, we're used to seeing just a few hundred. I've seen tens of thousands of these pages, man. Every single one of you guys are around a few hundred. 
Uh So when it comes to the business page, again, no one knows you. Becky is my friend on Facebook. I don't know Becky. I don't know that she's a top producer with KW. I don't know she's, I don't know she's been there for 25 years. I don't know she's badass. I don't know her. So when I come to her page and I see 333, I'm just like, uh, maybe she just started. Right? Like I'm right. automatically yeah. assuming, I'm automatically discrediting her, discrediting her without e- because I don't even know her. So that right there, first impression. I come to your page, that right there, first impression. I come to and, and I don't know, I don't know Becky, I don't know Chris, I don't know Kristen. But when I come to Kristen's page, I see a little bit higher, and automatically I'm assuming that she's better. Mm-hmm. And I don't even know her, bro. Like I don't know her. <laughs> yeah, but it makes know, sense. Right? So so number two, step two, before you even run a lead capture ad, before you even hit, set up a freaking cartridge page, bro. First ad, the very next dollar in our marketing budget, if we even have one, needs to go to running that like ad. You got to take that number up. You got to take your number up. And that's the very first dollar we need to spend, man. Because I'm telling you, every agent has a couple hundred. You just need a couple thousand. Mm-hmm. And, and that's why over here on my page, like when, when you come, so, so again, my personal page, there's step one. All my links are up. All my links are matching. You come to my business page. I got the same thing in the about section. All those links are there. So if you click on about, people are going to just see inspired digital, inspired digital, inspired digital, inspired digital. Everything is just one damn name. Mm-hmm. And, then, and, then, and then that's step one. So step two because no one knows me either, man. No one knows me. No one, we don't know each other on social media. Chris don't know me. Freaking Kristen don't know me. None of these people know me. So on step two, I knew the importance of that number. You were going to judge me on something. And so again, you, you came across me on YouTube and, and video alone is what creates credibility. But if you found me on Facebook, you would have came into this business page. You would have tried to dig in and see who the heck David is. You would have scrolled down and right away you would have saw this number. Uh-huh. And automatically, psychologically, you would have assumed that I know at least a little bit about something. Yeah. Uh-huh. All because of a big number. And, and for, for, for all you know, I could have just started this damn thing. I probably don't even know much <laughs> for, all, for all you know, right? Because right. you don't know me. Right. So that number, bro, is, is, is credibility. It's perception. That's all it is. People need to see a big number for them, for, for them to even give you a second of their attention. Now, you don't need 10,000 because what I'm telling you is every agent has a couple hundred. You just right. need a couple thousand. You take that page up from 422, you take it up to 2400, and you're good. You're good forever. You're light years ahead of every other agent when it comes to credibility and perception and what we call social proof. Gotcha. So. That number just needs to go up a little bit higher. You know, I, I, I say just take it up a couple of thousand, take it up to 2,400, call it a day. That's step two. Here's step three, and then this is where we also get Kartra implemented as well. Here's step three. What every single agent is doing, man, and let me just go to, let me go to one of my, one of my groups, but I can just scroll through my Facebook feed alone because they're all re- real estate agents. And I can just I can just show you uh, what everyone's doing, but at the same time, let me let me just go straight to one of my groups. Here's what this is step three, okay? This is step three. What every single agent does, and this is just, just this is just what 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 we do. This is just what they do. They'll take a listing, they'll take an open house, they'll take whatever real estate related, and they'll just post it on a t- in, inside of a ton of groups, or they'll post it all over their social media platforms. Mm-hmm. Their LinkedIn, their Facebook, their Instagram. Hey, open house. Hey, listing. This is just what what they do, what 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 everyone does. This is step three. Okay, when it comes, as I mentioned, to all these platforms, not only do not only do ninety nine percent of the people that you're connected with on Instagram, ninety nine percent of your connections on LinkedIn, not only are ninety nine percent of your Facebook friends over here where uh, wherever your personal page went. Not only do 99% of them not know you, but 99% of them don't live in your area. And that's a fact. And and I'll I'll say 90, so you can say 10. You can can argue with me and say, okay, David, 10% of my 4,200 friends actually live in Dallas. I'll give you that. But 90% don't. And that's a large percentage. Mm -hmm. And so 
when you post it on your personal page or when you post it on your business page, here's the fact about the 422. 90% of those 422 don't live in the area either. So mm -hmm. I'm going to like it. I'll be the 420. I'll be the 422nd. But the moment you start posting your listings or open houses, it's not that I don't care. It's just, it's irrelevant to me. I don't live in the area. Right. And that's why when you post anything, look, this one right here, look, professional, she looks good. You would think that this would have 9,200 views, mm -hmm. but the 92 views are from 99% of the people who don't even live in the area. She'll post it on her page. Look, I'll come over, over to her page and she'll have the same amount, 124. 99% of the 124 who were seeing that video, which are 92 views, don't live in the area. So they're not even in the market. So my point is with step three, everyone is simply posting. And what I call that is throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you, man, after seeing thousands of you guys and speaking to thousands of you guys, nothing sticking. So it's not about organic posting, man. It's not about organic posting. If you were a nationwide business and, and although you can help anyone relocate, I get it. If my wife and I were moving, you're, you're licensed in the state of Texas. If my wife and I wanted to move to Florida, a state that you're not licensed in, and I reached out to you and I said, hey, Chris, you're my boy. Make it happen. My wife and I, we're moving to Florida. I know you're not licensed there, but make it happen. I know for a fact you can make it happen. You'll broker it out. You'll make your split or whatever. You'll make it happen to make me happy because I'm your client. But in reality, I'm not your ideal client. Your ideal client is somewhere in Dallas. Mm -hmm. So if you were a nationwide business posting on all these platforms, when 99% of the followers live all across the country would make sense. But because we're a local business owner, organic posting on all these damn platforms make absolutely no sense. So step three is when you can start taking these types of posts and running them directly to Dallas. The heck with social media, bro. The only people <laughs> who need to see you are people that live in Dallas. That's it. And so the strategy, step three, is when you can take this post and run it as a Facebook ad and you can do one every single week as if it was your religion. And I'm telling you right now, if this right here this is a listing, right? Or it's an open house. Is this yeah, an open house. Okay, perfect. This is where we're going to now implement Kartra. Step three is when you run that for a week, you're promoting an open house. When you run an ad for a listing for a week, you're, you're promoting a listing. If you don't have an open house or a listing, we're running an ad for a week and we're promoting a seller guide or we're promoting an, a buyer guide. And all that is is a PDF, a download. That's where Kartra is going to play a part. Because now you're going to do a video. Let's say she was doing a video. It's not regarding an open house. It's not regarding a listing. Let's just say she came on camera and was giving us a three-minute video on 10 tips to increase the value of your property before you decide to sell it. And her whole objective was to look for sellers, look for listings. And at the end of that video, she would say, hey, guys, and by the way, click learn more, not like page. Click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can download a free 2020 seller guide where this PDF is going to give you all the ins and outs of what you need to know to increase the value of your property if you decide to sell. Click learn more. And now your whole pitch, your whole video becomes about a free download. But the strategy is to run that as a Facebook ad targeting Dallas. Right. So, so here's the deal. On this one, it's an open house. Step three, weekly ad, open house, listing, seller guide, buyer guide, whatever. It's a weekly ad. That is step three, targeting your farm and your farm only. When I click on the ad, it's going to say learn more. It won't say like page. It'll say learn more. Mm -hmm. Step three is the weekly ad. So I tell, I tell people all the time, man, if you have to have a part-time job, if you have to have some type of side hustle, if you have to have a garage sale, bro, every weekend to free up a couple hundred a month that you could put at Facebook advertising, you have to do that. Because if we don't have a couple hundred a month for Facebook ads, you're going to continue to just spray 
everything against the wall. Mm -hmm. And in 12 months, it ain't going to net you much at all. Like at all at all. This random posting is dead. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. And, 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 and the reason for two reasons, two main, main reasons is when you post on your purse, on your, on your, when you post on your business page, Facebook is only showing it to 1% of the 423. And that's a fact. So, so 1% is seeing it, but at the same time, 99% of these 423 don't even live in the area. Right. So I can't, I can't continue to spin my wheels like that. Not if I'm trying to close deals, like not if I'm trying to really close deals, I have to put a little bit of money in the game and target that local area. That little Elm needs to be seen that. So if I run an ad to little Elm with this video, rather than 92 views, it would have been 9,200 views and every single view would have been in little Elm. And the cost of that, bro, here's the reality. Here's the fact and here's the crazy truth. The cost of that, you would spend more money. Here's the deal, dude. You will spend more money. You're going to spend more money. You're going to spend more money taking your wife out to dinner tonight than what you would have spent running that as a Facebook ad targeting Little Elm for an entire week. Right. No joke, bro. You'll spend more at dinner tonight on you and your wife alone, not even bringing the kids, just you and your wife, dude. You'd spend more money on dinner tonight than you would spend for the entire week targeting Little Elm. Yeah, that's a fact for sure. So, so, so every week, bro, every week, we got to be running an ad every week. Again, whether it's a listing, whether it's an open house, or whether we're giving away something of value, and it's going to be a buyer guide or a seller guide. That's the strategy, weekly ad. Now, here's the deal. When I click on learn more, you're taking me straight to a Karcher page. That's right. where Karcher now comes into play. So I run the weekly ad. It's on an open house. They click learn more. In the background is the image of the property, obviously. Open house, Saturday and Sunday at 1, p 1, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Address, click button below to RSVP. A few bullet points, click here to RSVP. That's how you capture the lead. That's an individual who lives literally four miles away who you're targeting. They're not your Facebook friend. They don't like your business page. You happen to just be running an ad and they're seen in their newsfeed. They live a few miles away. They're RSVPing for your open house coming up this weekend. If that was a listing and let's say it, it, it was, she was on video and now she's just promoting a listing because that's what everyone is doing. So back to, back to my, my, um, my, um, actually this one over here, actually, no, where was that group? over here? So, so this right here, look, fantastic oceanfront luxury villa for sale. This guy is just spraying it in the group. No one even cares. I'm the only one who liked it. When I click on it, this is where everyone's taking me. 99.9999% of agents, they'll post the, the, the listing randomly all over social media. And the moment I click on it, I'm come, I, I, I come to this full-blown website where there's a bunch of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Nowhere to capture the lead. Nowhere to capture the lead. Like there's just so much freaking information, dude. And nowhere to capture the lead. He's giving me all this information. Before you know it, I'm clicking on another one. Before you know it, I'm clicking on business. I'm clicking on hotel. I'm clicking on property for rent. There's so much going on. And he paid. Now in this case, he's just flattening it against the wall. Mm -hmm. But if he was actually running an ad, directly to that local area and we click and come to this page he's blowing his money because he's not capturing a lead right so rather than taking me to a full-blown remax website that's the last place you want to take me i'm going to see this listing i'm going to click on it and i'm coming to a simple page similar to this one and this is the Karcher page. So get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. A few bullet points, view all 17 photos now. Once that person enters their name and email, show me the details. Then you can send me to your full-blown Remax site. But not right. prior. I need to capture that lead first. I am paying to get you to click learn more. Right. It's an ad. And I'm telling you, man, that was not an expensive ad when you really play it right, when you really budget it right. We're talking a few bucks a day. Like it's not that expensive at all. So step three, 
is taking a, is running that weekly ad like it's your religion, even if you have a listener or not, doesn't matter. Step four is you're taking them to a landing page. Step five is when you capture that lead and now that lead is in your email sequence, your email autoresponder, your drip system, whatever the hell you want to call it. That is Kartra. So that lead enters her name and email. Automatically, an email triggers, and that's Kartra. So Kartra is step four, landing page, and step five, email autoresponder. Because once they click on that blue button, instantly they receive an email. Hey, Dave, this is Chris. Thank you so much for inquiring on 77 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, here's a link to all the specs of the property. This is a beautiful home, blah, blah, blah. Hey, and by the way, Dave, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule a private showing. Can't wait to talk to you. That's an automated email, man, that went out. And in that email, the video, in your video, in your weekly video, the call to action is to click learn more to take another page. The call to actions in your emails is to get them to click the link to schedule a call. So that first email is going to trigger. A day later, another email comes out. So you'll set up your Kartra email system where there's a handful of emails already preset. So tomorrow, I'm going to get another email. Hey, Dave, this is Chris. Just wanted to follow up. I know yesterday you inquired on 77 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, guess what, man? The property is not going to last. Let me tell you a little bit about what's going on. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, and by the way, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule the call. Can't wait to talk to you, Dave. And that's an automated email, man. So you want to set up a handful of emails that go out after you capture that lead. That's it, dude. Like that's as basic as it gets. Those are five basic steps. Step one, list your links so you look credible. Step mm-hmm. two, take that like count up. So, th- so again, you look more credible. Step three, the only people that need to be seeing your stuff, man, are people that live in Dallas. That's it. Step four, take them to a landing page. And step five, nurture that lead via your email autoresponder. So when you look at everything from a 30,000 square foot view, bro, and you're looking down at everything from step three and on, that video is running 24 seven while you're out with your family. People are coming to your landing page and entering their name and email while you're sleeping. Emails are going out while you're chilling with your wife at dinner. Everything is automated. Mm -hmm. Everything is automated. So there is no physical effort aside of making the video. Once that video is made, that's it, man. It's, it's on autopilot after that. And, and after you put out a few videos, look, dude, this right here, look, if I kept seeing that face in my news feed, attractiveness has really nothing to do with it. It don't matter how you look. It's the fact that I'm visually seeing an individual. What tends to happen, and this is science, this is psychology, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is the brain and how it works. Once we keep seeing an individual and once we keep visually seeing them via video, three videos, four videos, five videos, we become indoctrinated, meaning we begin to feel like we know them, like we like them, and like we can trust them. So when you could take your video content and brand it and run an ad every single week to Dallas, before you know it, man, after a few videos, I swear to you, bro, before you know it, you'll be going to the local grocery store and people are going to recognize you. Because they've seen you in their news feed and they've been seeing you. And in your video content, it's not a pitch. It's education. Whether I'm educating you on a listing, whether I'm telling you about an open house coming up, or because you're not always going to have a listener or an open house. So most of your weekly videos will be based around one topic. Although you can do everything, buy, sell, foreclose, short sell, whatever. Although you're probably a, a man of many, many, many tricks and trades. When it comes to this Facebook ad campaign, your weekly content, your weekly, I would recommend video content, man. You look good. You have a, you have a professional look. You look good. There's nothing, I, I can't see anything wrong with, you, with the way you visually look. So I'm, I'm encouraging you to put yourself out on video and people are going to be hooked. But when you don't have a listing or, a, or an open house, you're now educating on one topic. So you're going to pick one topic. Either we're going to educate people on the process of buying and we're looking for buyer leads or... We're going to focus on the topic of selling and we're going to educate the people on the process of selling in the hopes of looking for listings. Pick one, 
pick one because that's going to allow you to put out weekly content more, much more easily because now you're, you're focused on one topic. And, and out of all this knowledge that you have, all you're doing is breaking it down to two-minute videos. Hey, guys, this is Chris. Just wanted to come on real quick. I know a lot of people are selling this year. I wanted to give you a couple tips that will help you increase the value of your property before you decide to sell. Tip number one, curb appeal. Make sure that the landscaping, right? Like this is stuff you already know, bro. Right. Like this is stuff you already know. When you could break it down on it on, with simple selfie style video from your cell phone, you'll crush it, man. You'll crush it. You'll crush it. And again, you don't want to take that and just post it on social media because that's what it's going to get you. It's going to get you 92 views. And that's from someone attractive. Look, she's attractive. Yeah. And it's still only – so you put your face or my face on there, bro, and it's a guy, we'd probably have like yeah. 15 views. <laughs> right. Right? It's like yeah. you know, no one wants to look at us. But at the same time, <laughs> but but at the same time, I'm just joking. But at the same time, if it was an ad, it's a hundred times more 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 engagement. So that right. 92 views, she would have literally had 9,200 all from little. What is little Elm or what? what, what? Yeah, little. Yeah, Elm. yeah, dude. It's like that's the difference, man. And 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 before you know it, people start to like you. And and I truly truly believe that's the only reason why you even reached out to me. Because you probably saw a few videos and you're like, damn, okay, maybe this guy's keeping it real. Let me see if I, if he can help me. It yeah. was all because of video, bro. Yeah. Like, like yeah, if, you, it if, <laughs> if you were reading my blog or if you were just hitting me up on Instagram where I'm really posting, you would have never hit me up at yeah. all. Like on my IG, it's all image. Like, like you would have never hit me up, dude, if it wasn't for video. You became indoctrinated. You felt like you liked me. You felt like you can trust me. You felt like you knew me just by watching a few videos. That's powerful, man. Yeah. So when you can take that and only brand your, your video to your local area, that's when it's checkmate. That's when you win. And, and, and you, can, you can drive all the traffic to a landing page where you can capture the lead of an individual who is interested in selling or an individual who is interested in buying. And how do we know that? Because they downloaded our free guide. So, so, so you want to get your hands on, on a seller guide or some type of buyer guide? doesn't have to be crazy. It could be a few pages, tips on selling, tips on buying. You know, and, and if you're looking for buyers, then, then okay, that's easy. Your video content. Hey, guys, this is Chris. Just wanted to come on here for, for a couple minutes. I know a lot of people are going to be buying here in 2020, 2021. I wanted to give you a couple tips on what you want to do first before you start the home searching process. Number one, it's so, so important to make sure your FICO score is in place. Number one, it's so important to make sure your debt to income ratio is in place. Number one, it's so important to make sure you're pre-approved with a lender before you even reach out to an agent. All this stuff that you already know, bro, becomes two minute content videos that you run out every week. That's it, dude. That's it. So if we got to stop going to Starbucks, if we got to <laughs> stop going out so many times to dinner every week, yeah. free up that expense and dump it into Facebook ads. In 2020, from this day forward, bro, and this is what I'll say in closing, we need a budget for Facebook ads and Kartra. That is it. As many fancy tools as you guys got in real estate, the IDX, all these random CRMs, there are so many fancy tools that you guys got. I'm here to tell you, you don't need any of them. You don't need any of them. I need, I need to run a Facebook ad to Dallas. I need to take them to a landing page. I need to capture the lead. That's it. After I capture the lead, I can send them to any website I want. I, anything can happen after that, but I need to capture that lead first. And, and when you take them to a fancy overblown website, you don't capture the lead. Right. Like give the website to your in-laws. You know, they want to know about your real estate business. They can go read yeah. about your freaking <laughs> read on your website. But if we're yeah. going to capture a lead, no, dude, it's, it's a landing page. Yeah. That's it. Basic, super basic. There ain't nothing on here, but a freaking blue button. Mm -hmm. Right. So that right there is what I got for you, bro. And I know that was a ton of information. Um, but, no, but dude, just, I mean, to, it was really good information, man. Just to start it's, it's those links, get your links up. And then, and then get this like ad, ad up. And, and have you ran any Facebook ads in the past or? Recently? I have. Yeah. I'm run, Yeah. I'm running one right now for that open house that you saw, but she made that video like a couple of days after I started the, the ad. I didn't even think about running an ad with that video, but um, yeah, I'm pretty familiar with running the ads on Facebook, but I don't have a landing page right now. So like, I don't have a cartridge for, to capture leads. So. Okay. Okay. So what I'll do, man, is I can easily. I mean, I can, we can spend a few minutes and I can walk you through a, a setup or I can easily just give you one of my funnels, man. And, and you could just go in there and edit. But what I, I, what I would highly recommend is make sure you're registered for those weekly Q and A's. Yeah. Um, are you still in your fortune day trial? 
I am, man. And I was going to ask you, man, I don't know if you somehow, you know, get paid for if I signed up through you or whatever, because I am planning on signing up once my trial's over. Um, Do you know who you even signed up with? I didn't sign up with anybody, man. I Bro, just went to. Here's the deal. Okay. Here's the deal. You got, here's what I always promise everybody that signs up with me. And obviously, yeah, dude, it, it, it's a win-win for everyone because Kartra pays me to refer people. So yeah. they pay me, therefore I don't have to charge you. So anyone who clicks my link and, 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 and just sets up their 14 day trial, I give them all my time for free and I give them all my funnels. Gotcha. So I literally have like four or five funnels that are already set, ready to go. Like I have, and all you got to do is go in there, edit, edit mm -hmm. the image, which I can easily show you. Um, so as far as training, you and I, we can jump on a call whenever the hell you want, strictly straight to the point, how to edit this, how to freaking input that, like all Kartra, like you have my time for free, man. You get my calendar link. You can book a damn call whenever you want. So that's what I offer people who, who, who sign up with my link. Um, and people yeah, I mean, I, yeah, dude, send me that. Is that the link that you sent me? Um, I think it was yesterday. It says to sign up, click here for your yeah, 14-day yeah, trial. Yeah. But what you're going to have to do is, is obviously, yeah, obviously deactivate, you know, the other one that you have. Right. But what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to sign up with Kartra under a different email. Gotcha. Okay. Just that way it's a different account. You know what I mean? It's a different email. And if possible, if possible, but I don't think it's really, really necessary but just to really, really be safe is even put a different credit card. Okay. If possible, if you don't have a different one, then, then whatever, but for sure use a different email. Um, so, it, so it's a brand new account and, okay. and what you're going to want to do also, what you have to do is you have to go into incognito. So do you know how to do that? Yeah. I yeah. Do. So just go over here, click the, the three dots, click on new incognito and, and do it this way. So, so what I would, would what I, what I would recommend is probably just go, to incognito and go to go to YouTube, go to any of my videos and just click on my Kartra link in the description. Okay. But do it from an incognito window and then just again do it with a do it with a new um, email. Gotcha. Okay. If do you that. do that, bro, that's all I really ask, man. And then and then shit, you got all my time. I can I can give you the share codes to all these funnels. I have one for this is this is a basic one for a listing. Um, another one, which is the other one for an open house. But also if we don't have a listing or an open house then what I'm going to highly, highly help you with is putting together either a buyer guide or a seller guide. So video content every week, man, educating the audience on the process of selling and giving them a free download. Gotcha. This is going to allow us to capture a ton of leads every day. People who live in our backyard that are all interested in selling and it's our email automation that's going to allow us to nurture the list, stay in touch with that list, and get them to schedule appointments. Okay. That email Perfect. automation. So okay. the reason why a buyer guide and a seller guide is so powerful because obviously, yes, you're getting the attention and the interest of an individual who lives down the street who is interested in that topic. They're a homeowner. Why else? Someone that's renting an apartment. They're not freaking downloading this. They're not clicking <laughs> right. on your link, right? Yeah. It's someone that obviously you know, has an interest. So yeah. Through my email automation, the reason why I love to give away something up front of value is because it allows me on the back end to, to, to easily curate and, and create my emails. So for example, if I'm giving away this, it's a seller guide, right away they opt in. They put their name, they put their email, they click the, the yellow button. Instantly, step five, which is the email automation, that email is triggered. Hey, hey, Dave, this is Chris. Hey, man, thank you so much for downloading my freaking seller guide. Here's the link. Click here to download it. Make sure you check your emails. I'm going to be emailing you a bunch of great information you're not going to want to miss out on. Talk to you then, Dave. And then tomorrow, another email goes out. So what I end up doing is I'll end up writing maybe 10 emails. And every single one of them is based around the content in this download. And this could be a five-pager. It could be a 10-pager, a PDF. But I'm going to base my emails around that. So for example... Tomorrow, another email is going to come out while I'm sleeping. Hey, Dave, this is Chris. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, man, I know yesterday you downloaded my seller guide. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about curb appeal? This is what I meant. And it's a couple sentences on, about page three about curb appeal. And then in that email, hey, Dave, and by the way, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule the time to, uh, time to speak. Can't wait to hear your goals and see what you're looking to do. Talk to you then, Dave. 
Two days later, another email goes out, man. Hey, Dave, this is Chris. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, man, do you remember on page seven when I was talking about renovating your kitchen? Here's what I meant by it. And by the way, Dave, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar. So now we have a handful of emails that are going out that are all based around this, getting them to schedule appointments. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah, I need all that. <laughs> do you see that? Do you, do you yeah. see it though visually? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? It's yeah. crazy. Like it's that powerful, bro. And I'm just telling you, dude, I, I eat, breathe, and sleep this stuff. Yeah. Specifically, specifically around real estate agents. Yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, I, I, the reason yeah. why I started by showing you this friend list is because those are all freaking agents, bro. I'm seeing what everyone's doing and 99.9% .9 of them ain't doing it. Right. They're not, dude. They're not. So so you'll, you'll net a couple deals a year by randomly posting on social media, but I'm right. trying to get a couple deals a month. That's the, yeah, difference. Yeah. That's the difference. Same here, man. I mean, right. the, um, I'm like, I'm a hundred percent in, you know, I've been building my business off of phone calls basically, mm -hmm. man. So mm -hmm. I'm ready. To, I'm not going to let that die. That's my bread and butter. You oh, know, keep but, it, bro. Keep it. This yeah. all runs in the background. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. This all runs in the background at the end of it all. Your only, only responsibility, your only, only, yeah, job is to, is to literally produce one video per week. Yeah. That's it, dude. That's it. One video it per week. One video per week, and you let the entire machine run while you're making your calls, while you're out networking, while you're still doing what you're doing. This is running in the background. Right. That's it, man. And so here's what I want you to do first. Run – that like ad, I don't know if you're going to be able to run that like ad, bro. I seriously don't, don't think you can. It's not, you can't run it to just your local area. You have to run it to everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of real estate. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't even know how to run a like ad. I didn't even know that okay. was possible. So what I can do, I have, I mean, the links, you, you pretty much know how to do the links, but you just got to log into each one and customize them and then, and then change that. But I have a simple video I can show you. I'll, sh I'll email you a video that I have on, on step one on just listing all the links. Gotcha. But on step two, what I can easily do, dude, is I can, I can easily run it for you. You just, you just pay for it. Like, just tell me the budget Yeah. and give me a good review. Okay. I could do that. Like we can easily just, just start there. And then, and then our next call, I'll send you my calendar link, schedule a call whenever you want. Our next call needs to be strictly on Kartra and getting all these funnels to you. Okay. So I need you to cancel the one you have, reactivate one incognito and then schedule the call as soon as possible. We could chat tomorrow. We could chat the next day, whatever. I'll send you my, my link and just schedule the call. And then let's, let's put together all your pages. But, but even if you, if, here's what I always tell people, step one and two needs to happen first. So even right. if we don't have a big budget, that's fine. It needs to go into the like ad first. Okay. Then in the meantime, we're getting our cartridge pages up. We're thinking of content to create for our weekly video. That's, that's somewhat of a process. That's not going to happen, that, especially yeah. if you're not doing video, like you're not going to all of a sudden do one by tonight. <laughs> yeah. right? So you're going to need right. to probably ease into that. Yeah. And that's step three. But right now, step one and two could still be done. Like I want this number to be, I mean, it doesn't need to be that high. Like what's our budget to run? Let's just say for the month for one single ad, like what can we put towards it? Uh, I usually do like five to 10 bucks a day. Um, on ads. So is that perfect? Feasible? No, that's, that's totally perfect. Like, could you do $10 a day for the month? Yeah. Okay. So if you put, so that'd be 300. So if you put 300 towards this like ad, that number would be at 3,500 by, okay. by what's say today's the 22nd, 21st. That number would be at 3,500 by the end of the month. Yeah, I can do that. And that's all <laughs> you would need. Like, that's all you would need. Like, Never again do you need to run that ad again. We're done. Okay. Now, after that, that's step two. Now, every dollar after that goes into landing pages and capturing local leads. That's it. But the, by the time we start doing that, that number is in the thousands. Right. The only people I care to impress about that like count number are the people that live in Dallas. Right. So they're going to see it once you start running lead ads and lead capture ads, landing pages. They're going to see that number the moment they come to the page. And that's who I need to impress. That's why I call that step two. That's why that number needs to be up before I start capturing leads. Gotcha. Okay. So here's all I got to do, bro, um, is go to your, are you on a computer? Yep. Okay. Go to your business page really quick. All I'm going to do is just request access to it so I can, so I can start that ad tonight and just run it from your page. Okay. So yeah, go to I'll your business page really quick.
you'll see you you may receive a re, uh, um a notification but if you don't let me know when you're there uh, yeah i'm on my page right now okay cool let me know if you receive a notification and you would probably mm. only see it if you're on a computer and if you yeah, don't I'm, I'm on my laptop right now. Okay, cool. So if you don't see it there, no big deal. Click on settings in the top right on your business page. Do you see settings? Yep. Okay, click on settings and then click on um, page roles to the left. Yep, page roles, gotcha. Perfect. And then you scroll down towards the middle and you'll you'll see respond to requests. You'll see inspired digital. Uh, respond to request. Uh, I got page support inbox. Do you, it'll be tight. It'll be like towards the middle of the page. Like oh, the, in the middle. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, what did you say it was called again? It, you'll see inspired. Digital oh, pending camera. partner requests. Gotcha. Yes, yeah, I see. Yeah, I yeah. scrolled down a little bit. Gotcha. Does it say respond to request or does it say pending? Uh, it says respond to request. Gotcha. Oh, well, it does say pending, but then to the right, there's a little box that says re respond. respond to it. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I give inspired digital access to my page. Yeah, click on that, and then it should ask you for your password, and then and then uh, you're good. Request. Okay. Okay, cool. So let me just refresh my page really quick. And what I'm going to do is I'll email you a, a short little video on step one, even though you'll probably already know how to do the links, but it just – once you watch the video, you'll be like, damn, okay, I, this is simple. So okay. you'll have it done in, in like two minutes, the, the customizing of the links. And that's all, that's all step one. And then I'll also email you tonight a snapshot of the actual ad. So once it's live, I'll email you and, and show you the image. All I do is I type in luxury homes mm -hmm. and Facebook gives me, you know, hundreds of images to choose from. So I always use a Facebook image. Um, and then also, and then I just write out the basic text. So I'll, I'll send you a snapshot of that tonight. Okay, perfect. And you'll see, and I've been using the same one forever. And then just give me whatever card I can use for the ad, either a Visa, Master, or Amex. Uh, it's a Master card. Okay, I'm ready. And I'm going to email you a confirmation for the ad as well for the for your record. Okay, it's okay. five, three, four. Also, 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 whenever we're ready for step three, on that part, I can just start coaching you on how to start running these ads the right way. Okay. So I'll just, I mean, rather than, you know, you paying anybody monthly to, to do all this stuff, like I'd rather, I mean, if you have the, the budget to just delegate it, that's one thing, yeah. but I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I would always, I always say now that I, that I like to, that I know how to teach this stuff to people. Like I, I, I always say, dude, save your money. Let me just teach it to you. Like I'll teach it to you. You know how to run, you'll know how to run these ads the right way. And that's it. Because there's a lot of things that go into the setup of Facebook ads that you don't even know of. And I talk right. about this on my YouTube videos. All, I make videos on all this stuff, but the custom audience, the custom conversions, making sure that that pixel is on every landing page. There's quite a few steps, but they're all easy, but everyone misses them. Just like these basics on the Facebook ad setup, they're basics also, but everyone misses them. So step three, I just want to teach you how to run them the right way. Gotcha. So we have a couple calls, man. We have a couple calls. We have a Kartra call. We have a Facebook ad call that, that we need to set up. Okay. But, but again, Perfect, step man. three is when you're ready. That's like when you have a, a, a monthly budget and it's not, a, it's not a lot, dude. Like, and I'm not talking about hiring me. I'm talking about a, ba a basic Facebook ad budget for you, which, which I would say start at at least, at least 50 bucks a week. When okay. you start running these videos directly to little Elm or directly to Dallas, whatever the target is, but you want to start at, at least at a couple hundred a month minimum, and then just scale up from there. Gotcha. Well, yeah, man, just to let you know, man, I I'm ready to do that. Um, I'm, I'm let's, like, let's I've been, do it then. yeah, I've been kind of setting aside a budget for the past few months to kind of get Perfect. this going. Perfect. <clears throat> so yeah, like, man, I'm a hundred percent in, I'm just ready to get Let, started, man. So here's, so. here's the deal then. Here's what we should do. I'll start that like at tonight. We'll have a few thousand by the end of the month from now on from the 21st to what are we, whatever we go to the 30th, 31st or whatever. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's spend this next week or so getting this Karcher set up. Okay. So let's yeah. set up another call and that'll be a Karcher call. And then let's set up a second call where it's a Facebook ad call. Okay. And let's do all that within the next 10 days. Okay. Perfect. Man. Let's that, set yeah, up that. that. And then, and then what I would, what I would highly, highly recommend, which would be perfect for you is to start running weekly ads June 1st. Okay. 
And the reason why that one, one huge reason why is because Facebook, they allow you the whole month because they don't bill you to the end of the month. Right. So they'll allow you to run ads the whole month of June without even having to pay them yet. Gotcha. Okay. So it's not like you need, you know, that budget right up front. For up the front. like ad, I'm going to put all that budget up front for the like ad. But okay. for, for once we start running weekly ads to, your, to, to Little Elm or to Dallas, they, they, they'll bill you out. Like they, you know, they'll bill you at the end of the month. So June 1st could be launch date for you, man. Okay. Perfect, man. So, so, so again, set up the Kartra. I'll send you the link to my, my calendar. Let's set up a, a couple calls. Just register them. Just like, just, just get on the calendar. That way that slot's not booked. Okay. Set up a Kartra call and set up a Facebook ad call. We need to do all that before the 30th. Set up Kartra and Facebook call. Yeah. Okay. Before the 30th. Cool. Okay, cool. man. I'll do that. All right, bro. So check out for my emails, man, and reach out to me if you need anything. Um, we're Facebook friends now. Let me send you – actually, I'll email you. I'll email you my direct line. So if you need to call me, text me, whatever, man, hit me up whenever. All right, man. Be careful with right, my um, with my credit card information, man. I normally bro. don't. I normally don't hand that out you'll, to strangers, but I, <laughs> you'll, I, trust me, bro. <laughs> you'll, you'll get a receipt, dude. You'll get a receipt. You'll get a receipt for sure. Um, it's uh, all good, man. I'm a and very also, re- what you're gonna owe me is a review, dude. So when you come to my business page you. over here, but you don't gotta do it right now. Like I'll send you an email about that. Yeah. But when you come I mean, to my that. when you come to my business page, just click on reviews, and okay. that's why, dude. The like count, those links. Yeah. That's social proof. But also yeah. when you start closing tons of deals, you want every single one of them, bro, to come over here and start giving you reviews. Yeah. So when any, when anyone questions, cause that you have the right to question, you don't know me, right? We don't know each other. So it's like, dang dude, but on social media, we got to, because we're building a business, we got to be, we got to be as transparent as possible. And yeah. these reviews go a long way. Yeah. So these are, these are all freaking agents, bro. So I, I ran this ad and I've been doing this since 2016, but it wasn't until like the last 68 people when I'm like, damn, dude, you pay for it. I'll freaking, I'll run it for you. That's what I call step one and two. And then out of the 68, a handful of them will come back wanting me to teach them even more. Right. So that's my whole strategy just to be upfront with you. Yeah. Like why in the hell is David doing this for just a review? Because yeah. my ultimate objective is to have you come back and want me to keep teaching you. Yeah, that's absolutely. What I, man. You know, so, so yeah, dude, those reviews are super important, man. So um, I'm going to give one, I'm going to give one to you too. I can't do it now because now I'm tied to your page. I have to yeah, no wait worries. till the ads over and then I can go give you a review because then I'm no longer attached to your page and I'm just a normal visitor so I can review right. it. But yeah, man, just stay in touch, bro. And let's crush it, man. I have a okay. lot to teach you. Yeah, I'm ready, man. All right, brother. I'll talk okay. to you soon. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Yes, Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Bye.